Hey guys, we're going to keep going on warehouse management and today we're going to talk about the put away template. So I touched on it a little bit last time. We did introduce bins into the system. We created a um, receipt from purchase order and a put away. So basically what we had, and this is for the uh, north location, um, we created a PO which creates a warehouse receipt uh, which creates a put away let's call it this PA right so and the put away now is using bins so it's basically taking the warehouse receipt uh, and if we have the warehouse like we had before we have the receiving uh, storage and shipping and the warehouse receipt puts it into shipping that's a receipt and then I mean sorry into receiving and then the put away puts it into storage but where in storage so here's the thing like when you're directing your put away people in the warehouse to put away the product does it matter where they put it you know don't you want it to have some organization you know and we only had one storage bin which is too simplified uh, why use bins if you only have one storage bin? And we put away into that bin. No problem. Okay, so now what happens if we introduce another bin right here? And we call this storage two. Then the system has to say, well, where are you going to put it? Are you going to put it in one or are you going to put it in two? Which one should I pick? Or, you know, the system pick for you. Uh, of course, you can have the pickers just choose this, but there is something called a put away template in the system, which does give you options about putting away the product. And it does look for criteria in order. And I'm gonna maybe go over this even more in another video. I'm just gonna show you in basic how it works right now. You can set up the put away template um, to direct it to either go into storage or storage too, depending on parameters. And in my simple put away template that we're going to do in the video, I'm just going to have it look for an empty, empty floating bin first. So the first look for empty floating bin and then second, just look for a floating bin. Uh, and in my example, I just created storage two both of them are floating and I'm going to talk about floating later um, I just created storage 2 and it's empty so if we run through this it should pick the empty floating bin and put it put it away there if everything works so let's check it out okay so what I want to do is um, like we talked about go into the put away template a little bit um, the put away template is very important. It, it shows a little bit of intelligence in the, um, the warehouse application. And so what I set up right now is um, that it should find the fixed bin and with the same item. And if it doesn't find that, so this is how you read it. If it doesn't find that, this first line, then it moves to the second line. So the second line is find a floating bin um, and that is empty. And if it doesn't find that, then it just says, okay, find a floating bin. And uh, if it doesn't find the floating bin, I guess there's nothing here. I'm not sure if this line here really matters. I think the end is always finding a floating bin. Um, I could actually check on that, but I want to see this in action. So we were just trying to get anything into the system and we just set up this uh, put away template i knew if i put a flo floating bin here in the end it would work because ultimately there is there's definitely going to be a floating bin available um, so if we read this uh, and we want to see it in action here the floating bin empty is what it should be pick if i had two bins two floating bins so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and into the location. You can play around with this and I encourage you to do that location. Um, 
and go into our north location right here and I'm going to just navigate into the bins. I got three bins that I set up, storage, uh, shipping and receiving. So I'm talking about storage bins because we put away from receiving into storage. And I'm just going to create storage two here. So I have storage um, two and that's in the storage zone. It's a storage bin, etc. And you can see here, this is a calculated field that this is empty. Uh, it's checked off because I just created it. Um, and this one here is not empty. The one that we just received into. So according to the put away template, it should put into the storage two now that I'm putting away instead of storage. It automatically picks it. So let's go ahead and create a purchase order. Um, for the coffee mug, like we always do. Now we're buying from the Fabricum. Um, we're getting the coffee mug into the north location. Oops, not main. Into north. Let's say it's 20. And I just go ahead and release it and then create a oops, warehouse, create warehouse receipt. Warehouse receipt has been created. And then we're going to go ahead and post this receipt. Yes. And it creates a put away activity automatically, which is nice. So now I want to go ahead and look at the put away activity. So I have here put away, where was put aways? Here it is. And we're going to navigate into this one. Uh, not register it. Uh, I put edit. Okay. So, yep. But what we do here is uh, we take those 20 coffee mugs out of the receiving bay and we place them into storage two bin codes in zone storage. So the put away template is doing its job. It's actually telling it to find the first empty floating bin and put it there. And this was the empty one because I just created it. So that makes perfect sense. Um, now, if you are taking a look at a demo environment, you might not see this action type or even bin codes might be hidden. So you have to remember to go up here and personalize and drop in those, uh, those columns. They're not by default shown, but those are super important. As you can see, tells should take place, which is fantastic. Uh, and also bin, which is going in the, I, I wouldn't know why that wouldn't be shown by default. Um, so at least this gives you an idea of how the put away template works. And we we'll, might, we might explore that even further. Like what is a floating bin? <laughs> I know I've been talking about floating bins like crazy, but I haven't really told you what it is. So maybe that's a topic for next one.